Uh, this is Hamza, I made a uh, unit one, task one, P1 and M1 and P2. So, start off with P1 and M1 then Hamza. Describe um, and explain the fitness requirements for achieving excellence in selected sports. So, who have you chosen? I've chosen Zinedine Zidane. Right. Football. Talk about I've the six. I've chosen different, six different strengths. Agility, power. Six components of fitness. Yeah, yeah. Speed, aerobic endurance, balance. Right, good. Right, talk to me about those then. Agility is the ability to transfer power from one energy, from one movement to another. To get. So he needs to, my player needs to like have the energy and move it to like his foot or like other side of the body, like use his legs, like different, different power as a part of your body because he's playing football. Right. Power is needed in football because he needs to stay on his feet all times. Yep. Speed is needed because he has to get to one box to another and try leaving his defender if he's a striker. That's yep. what he's done. Is. Balance, uh, rubric endurance is needed so he can play throughout the full 90 minutes of the game without needing a break or anything, apart from half time. Right. And he, always, all, and he needs to be also healthy, like good working lungs to be faster, everything. Like he needs to be in, it's like some more smoking and stuff. But uh -huh. So he needs to be held there. Coordination is when he needs to get along with his players in his team, like one two passes, like know where his players is, know where he's standing at all times of the pitch. Yep. That's that's my six there. That were the stones that I chose. Right, and then you need to talk to him about the three training methods for P two. That's uh one's continuous training. Right. Circuit training and part leg training. Right, talk to me about each of those and why it's important for Zidane. Continuous Zidon. training is when the athlete, when he needs to... Continuous training, he needs to be working quick. He needs to have continuous training all the time because he's going to be running most of the game. Right. To get, uh, so he has to be training all the time, quick training, continuous training, for a long time period, not for a short time. Good. So you can last 90 minutes. Circuit training. Well, circuit training, each session should last about 40 to 5, 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. Consists of four, six different stations, like different workouts. Or he could do maybe more stations, couldn't he? How many yeah. stations could he do? And what sort of exercises if you're doing circuit training? Circuit training, like, one can be like skipping or something. Like, just like loads of DR, I say, like, one, it can be skipping, then he moves up to just building his legs up, just getting the speed right, like, jogging on the pace, jogging in the spot or something, stuff like that. Right. And then, like, fart like training. Yeah, fart like training. Fart like training, running. Far like training, far like running this. Yeah. And was like varying pace throughout your full run. Yeah. Like a, a bit, uh, uh, alternating between fast segments and slow jogs. Yeah. So he needs to he needs to be running full on and trying to leave his defender and trying to keep up with that pace to just say if he's running to the other side or the corner. He needs to be staying at that pace, not slowing down. Right, good. So he needs to set up on the pace that he needs to. Yeah. That's my three. Right, so which of the six components of fitness you think is the most important then for Zidane? For Zidane, it's uh, speed. Right, why? Because he needs to get around players. If he, can't, if he hasn't got speed and he can't leave the defenders, how is he meant to score? Right, okay. And then what else might he have to do in football to have speed? To have speed. Continuous training. No, I mean, so, so why else might speed be important for him? So... To get away from players, what else? To get away to, uh, from players, to get one point to another before the defenders. Yeah. He needs, he needs um, to score as well. And why else? What What about when he's defending? When he's defending, he needs to be quick as well, try and get tackling the ball. Okay, good. Um, right, which of the training methods do you think is the most important then for Zidane? So if you're in charge of training Zidane, which training method would you pick? Continuous training. Right, why? And what sort it's of stuff might you do with him? Continuous training, sprints, like just sprints or like sprint to a corner, like back to get what I'm saying. But for a long or short time. Long time. Right, so you think you'd be able to sprint for a long time? 
No, but he won't. But I'm just, I'm not telling him to sprint like all the way to get. Just, it's like short cones, like from here to there. You know, like just, just say if like this player gives a bad ball and you just quickly has to pace that. Do you get what I'm saying? Just making it quicker. Right. That's all. But I'm just quiet including, for a long time. Like it? jogging around because he needs to last 90 minutes and he can't last 90 minutes sprinting. So right. he needs to work out his energy even there, get him to used to different. So each other activities might you do for continuous training? Continuous training. Skipping. Right. What else? Uh, like a bleed test, I mean. Right, good.